So one fun fact about uh, the flag of Nepal is not only is it, um, I guess two facts, not only is it one of the few flags in the world that are not rectangular, um, the national constitution of Nepal has a section of its, uh, of its text that prescribes geometrically how to construct the flag. It can, be, you, it can even be done with a simple compass and straight edge technique. But I thought it would be fun to today use um, GeoGebra to not only show you how the flag is drawn, but demonstrate some of the tools. So hopefully you, you can uh, use it for your own purposes and uh, maybe learn a few tricks. So let me get right down to it. So the flag of Nepal is prescribed by these sections. There's a section for the inner border, the moon, the sun, and the outer border. So let's start with the inner border. I'm first going to start with a point at the origin, 0, 0. I have the uh, grid and the axes uh, hidden. Uh, they're not needed. You can use this with a you can do this with a blank sheet of paper, but I'm going to be using some tools in GeoGebra to make this all make this a little easier, and that's really the point. So First step, on the lower portion of the crimson cloth, draw a line AB of the required length from left to right. Okay, so I need a second point B, and I'm going to put that at 1, 0. There's point B. Now, step two, draw, draw from A, draw a line AC perpendicular to AB, making AC equal to AB plus 1 third AB. All right, so what the heck does that look like? So first, I'm going to connect AB with a line segment. And next, I'm going to draw line AC perpendicular to AB. Not only that, but AC needs to equal AB plus one third AB. Whoops, C doesn't go there. So using my tool for circle, center, and radius, this segment right here is segment F, and I can use the little lowercase letter F to prescribe things like a radius. So here's the center and radius tool. So from A, I'm gonna start my circle, and the radius is going to be F. And when I type in the letter F, what that's calling out is the length of segment F. So the radius of this new circle needs to be F, times four thirds because I need the full length plus an additional third. And this is our first construction line. AC is perpendicular to AB. And I have a construction tool that automatically gives me a perpendicular line. So first I select the point and then the perpendicular line. So it's gonna be going through point A and it's perpendicular to segment F. And I can change the color of this to make it a construction line, this too. Once I'm, through each step, I'm gonna be drawing lots of construction lines and I will hide them as I no longer need them. So then, point C is at the intersection of this circle and the perpendicular line. Point C goes right there. So now I can hide the circle, I can hide the construction line, and I can draw my line segment AC. Great. The second half of step two, from AC, mark off D, making the line AD equal to line AB. So if there is a line from A along AC that is the same length as AB, I can use my circle tool, my regular circle tool, circle with center. I can start with the center A, and I can give it the same radius as the length of line AB. And then I can insert another point at the intersection, and there's point D. And I can hide this, because I no longer need it. Step three, from B, D, Oh, I forgot. Join BD. B to D. Great. 
now set 3, from BD mark off point E, making BE equal to AB. And I can do the same thing I just did using my circle with center. On paper, I would use a compass, and I would put my the pointy bit on point B, stretch out the pencil to point A, and, and draw an arc going up to here. And I put a little tick mark and draw a point. I don't need to do that in GeoGebra. I can just draw the circle, place my point, and hide the circle. And now I have point E. Now, step four, touching E, draw a line FG starting from the point F on line AC. Touching point E, draw a line FG starting from point F on AC. Parallel to AB, I should keep reading. Parallel to AB on the right hand side, mark off FG equal to AB. Okay, so I need a parallel line, which is in my construction section somewhere. There it is. I have a parallel line tool. I select the point and then the line that's parallel. From E, parallel to AB, okay. Touching E, draw line FG starting from point F on line AC. So on line AC, it needs a point F right here. Parallel to AB on the right hand side, mark off FG equal to AB. So all this is saying is that I need a line from F along the parallel line equal to AB. So, a couple ways to do this. I know that I need a line that's equal distance. I could use my circle and radius tool here. I can start at F, point F. My line AB is segment F, and I could put a point right here, or I can draw a perpendicular line from point B, which is perpendicular to the middle line. I kind of like that method better, if I can find the tool. Perpendicular, so through point B, perpendicular to there. Now I have point G. Draw line FG, parallel to AB, to the right hand side, mark off FG equal to AB. Done. So now let's clean it up a bit. I no longer need this construction line. I don't need this construction line. EG. Join C and G. Nope. Draw a line F, G. Oh, so it wants a line from F to G, okay. F to G. Then join C, G. I think we're coming along. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yep, pretty much. Looking good so far. Okay, just got some extra lines in here. By the end of it, I'll be able to clean it up. So, that is the outer border. So I can get rid of that. Now I'm going to draw the moon. From AB, mark off AH, making AH equal to one-fourth line AB. Okay, so there's the first part. One-fourth the line a b okay so i'm going to use my circle with radius and that's segment f divided by four h is here okay oops dang it okay now, move the 
this over here. So from AB, mark off AH, done. Making AH equal to 1 fourth line AB, done. And starting from H, draw line HI parallel to AC, touching line CG at point I. Okay. Starting at H, draw a line HI parallel to line AC. So I need a parallel line through H, and that's parallel to AC. Why do I keep losing this tool? There it is. Parallel through H and AC. Okay. Touching line CG at point I. So point I is here. Okay. So now I'm going to hide these. Hide. Hide. Okay, I have point I and H. Bisect CF at J and draw a line JK parallel to AB touching point CG at point K. Bisect CF, so I need a point between C and F. Okay. So I need midpoint. I have a midpoint or center. So select two points, a segment, circle, or conic. So I select C and F, and I get point J. Those are very close. Bisect CF, point J, done. And draw a line JK parallel to AB, touching CG at point K. JK is parallel to AB. So my parallel tool through point J, nope, not D, J parallel to AB, dang it, holy cow. There we go. Bisect CF at J and draw a line JK parallel to AB touching CG at point K. So where it touches CG, that is point K. I'm going to hide this. Now we have point K. Let L be the point where lines JK and HI, JK, and where did H go? H, I cut one another. So if I have J, no, point J, you gotta zoom in sometimes. J, K, L is the point where lines J, K, and H, I cut one another. It's weird language in this constitution. I don't like it. Okay, where they cut one each other. So this is point L. Nailed it. So this can be hidden. And so can this. Great, there's point L. Move, zoom out. Let M be the point where lines JG and HI cut together. Wait, I skipped a step. Join JG. <laughs> J and G. Okay. So point J all the way to G. Why not? Now, M is the point where JG and HI cut to one another. JG, I've drawn it. HI, why did I erase them? Doesn't matter, I can draw another one. 
Here we go. So this is point M. I can hide this. I can hide this. Okay. With center M and with distance shortest from M to BD, mark off N on the lower portion of line HI. So I need line HI with center M with distance shortest from M to BD. M to BD. Okay, so now shortest distance would mean that the line that touches this at the shortest distance is perpendicular. So there's a tool for that as well. It is a, it's the perpendicular line tool. So through point M, it is perpendicular to BD. And there it is. With center M, with a distance shortest from M to BD, mark off N on the lower portion of line HI. Okay, so I need circle tool, lower portion of HI, and the same distance as this short guy right here. So I don't want a point there. I want a point that is along HI, but the same distance. What tool am I going to use? I don't want to create a new point, because that would screw up my letters. You know what, screw it. Let's just see how this goes. So, I can name it something else. But I need a point there. This point is not part of the construction, but I need it. I'm going to rename it. I'll just call it point one. Then through this point here, I need a point there. This, there we go, point N. Excellent. All right, with center M, mark off N on the lower portion of line HI. Done. All right, so now I can hide my circle. I can hide my line here. I might need it later. I have no idea. So there's point N. Touching M and starting from O. Oh, I haven't drawn O yet. <laughs> it's touching M and starting from O on point AC. Draw a line from left to right, parallel to AB. Starting from M, touching M, starting from O. A point on AC, oh, there it is. I haven't made it yet. Touching M and starting from point O, point AC. Draw a line from left to right, parallel to AB. Touching M, starting from O, a point on AC. So O is somewhere over here. Draw a line from left to right parallel to AB. So it's from M parallel to AB. That's not bad. All right, so parallel tool from M parallel to AB. This is point O. With center L and radius LN, draw a semicircle on the lower portion and let P and Q be the points where it touches line OM respectively. So if I have OM, center L, and 
and radius ln, okay, a radius ln, draw a semicircle on the lower portion, and let P and Q be the points where it touches OM respectively. Sensor L and radius LN. Draw a semicircle on the lower portion. P and Q be points where it touches line OM. So if this is line OM, this is okay, this is the lower part of the moon. So I don't need this. I need I don't want a segment, I want a line. O, M, and these two points are here and here, P and Q. So now I need a semicircle hide this guy. I have a tool for making semicircles. Semicircle. Select two endpoints. P. Nope. God, it goes clockwise. P and Q. Center. Wait, center L and radius L and draw a semicircle on the lower portion and let P and Q. Okay, so this is the wrong tool. This draws a perfect half circle. I want a circular arc. So now I select the center, center L and radius LN. I draw a point. <laughs> this one goes backwards. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one again. Circular arc, center L from P through N to Q. Ah, there we go. How about that? Now, let a semicircle in the lower portion and let P and Q be the points where it touches OM respectively with center M and radius MQ draw a semicircle in the lower portion touching P and Q. Now I do the same thing. Center M, radius M, Q. Okay, so now this, center M, P through Q, done. Center N and radius NM draw a semicircle in the lower portion. Nope. NM draw an arc touching P and Q at R and S. So to get those points, I'm going to use my circle center N radius M. The points that those touch are P, R, and S. Excellent. So I can hide my construction circle. And now I can draw a circular arc. Where'd it go? Circular arc. I had my center N from S through M all the way to R. Fantastic. With center T, wait, nope, center N did that step. With center N or radius M, draw an arc touching P and Q at R and S. Done. Join R and S. Okay. R and S. Let T be the point where R, S, and H, I cut one another. 
So HI was this tall one. This is T, where the point R, S, and HI cut one another. Could have just said intersect, but whatever. Okay, T is the point where R, S, and HI cut with one another. With center T and radius TS, draw a semicircle on the upper portion of P and Q touching at two points. Center T, radius TS, okay, T, radius TS, oh interesting, so the sun is a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm going to use my semicircle tool. Semicircle. And it goes clockwise, so starting from R to S. Radius TS, draw a semicircle done on the upper portion of P and Q, touching at two points. With center T and radius TM, center T and radius TM, draw an arc on the upper portion of P and Q touching at two points. Whoops. Center T and radius TM. Center T, radius TM. So let's draw a construction circle. Draw an arc on the upper portion of P and Q, touching two points. Oh, so this is the, okay, I see. So this is the inner radius of the sun points, and this is the outer radius. So I'm going to clean this up. I can hide this. I'm going to hide that, get rid of that. So now I think I can hide this too. If I need it, I can draw it again. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so eight equal points. Eight equal and similar triangles of the moon are to be made in the space line inside semicircle of number 16 in the outer outside of the arc on number 17. So, eight equal similar triangles of the moon are to be made in the space lying inside. So I need eight in here. So I think I can divide this using one of these tools. Where is it? Reflect now. I thought there was a tool for this. No, okay, I'm gonna have to do it. Do it the hard way here. Alright. I think the old version of GeoGebra had this or a different one. Lines, points, next, nope. Nope, so I need eight points. So I have a. All right, similar triangles. So how am I going to do this? All right, so. You know what? I'm just going to eyeball it. So I need one there. There, there, roughly, there, there, and there, and one more here. So now I have points, and I'm going to draw the lower bit here, 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 here. And we're going to go 
here. And now, connect them all. These are similar enough. There's our moon shape. Great. The moon is drawn. So now let's clean this up. I'm going to hide this. Hide this. Lord, there's so many points. All right. I need to rename these. This I can hide. This I can hide. All these other points I'm going to leave on there. So I'm just going to call these. I'm just going to give them different names so that they don't get they don't get confused in the later steps because I need the auto naming feature of GeoGebra to give me the next point, otherwise it's pretty confusing. You, was it? Point on the construction W F. Did I get them all? Nope. B. As you create objects, it automatically gives you the next um, the next letter. And since these were all drawn manually, I don't want them to interrupt the sequence of points. And then H, holy crap. Did I get them all? Nope, E, super, J. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to hide them all. Hide, 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 and hide. Great. Look at that. And now we got the moon. Uh-oh. And let's hide this one. And give it a short segment. Bam. How are we looking? That looks pretty cool. Oh, they did it a little differently. This isn't an official graphic from of the flag, it's just a clip art that I found, but are following the actual instructions here, so I think mine's better. Great, so there's the moon. Now the sun. Super. Let's see what happens if I make a point. What's the next one gonna be? V? Yep, looks like we're in good shape. Come on. There we go. Okay. Bisect line AF at U. Where's AF? AF. Midpoint. A. F. And draw line UV parallel to AB, touching BE at V. Hang on. A, 
F N U. Uh oh. I need to rename this. I don't know what this is, but it's calling it point U. I don't want to call it point U. I want to call this that. Great. And I want to hide it. Because that is not the point we need. The point we need is somewhere else. Bisect AF at point U. Great. Bisect line AF at U. So we're going to bisect AF at U. Draw a line UV parallel to AB. So parallel tool, parallel through U. Now with touching BE at V. So this point where that line intersects is point V. With center W, the point where HI and UN cut one another. Okay. So we need, man, this, <laughs> this language is complicated. The point where HI and UN cut each other. HI, so where's HI? HI and UN. U, where's N? Where the hell did N go? There it is. UN. With center W, point where H, I, and U, N cut one another. U, N, H, I. So that's point N. So I need a point W. So I need another point. So I need a point W, but I'm going to Call this, I'm going to manually call it the x value of n, so I'm not confused, and the y value of n. So there's point w with center w, the point where h, i, and u, n cut one another, radius m, n, where's m, n, m, n. MN. I think this is a typo. This isn't W. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> that's what happens when you delete one point. All right, so this, that's not, that's not W. This is W. I'm just going to roll the dice and say this is W. So MN. So now I need this radius here, and I need a whole circle. So I'm going to draw a segment from N to M, and this is segment T underscore 2. That little guy right there. E underscore two. All right. So at point W, I believe this is a typo. Radius M N draw a circle. All right. So I need a circle with a specific radius, starting at W, and its radius is equal to line M N. Nope, cancel. T underscore two. Nope, what am I doing wrong? Cancel. Cancel. All right, what am I doing wrong? Center and radius. 
radius. So if I just, what if I just did this? Circle with center. There it is. This circle is circle C underscore two. So if I try circle with radius, C underscore two, number expected. Whoops, picked the wrong point. I'll get it right eventually, folks. Center, point W, at radius C underscore 2. There we go. All right. Center W, point HI, and UN cut one another. Center W, the point where HI and UV cut one another. And then draw a circle. We have our circle. With center W and radius LN, draw a circle. So I'm going to hide this. Center W and radius LN. Where's L and where's N? LN. Okay. Let's try it the other way. We're almost done. So now, center. Circle, center, and radius. But first I need a circle, radius, L, N. What is that circle called? This circle is E underscore 2. Got it. Okay. So now, at W, radius, E underscore 2. Great. 12 equal and similar triangles of the sun are to be made in the space enclosed by the circle of number 20 and number 21. 12 points. Super. So if we have this point, this point, this point, this point, we need two in between. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and I am eyeballing this. I fully admit, but I don't really care about that. So now we need the points in between so that we can make this cool little sun shape. Point, point, point. Clean these up a bit. Stop it. All right, that looks pretty good. Great. So now I'm going to use a polyline because it's faster. Polyline. Bam. Bam, bam. This guy, hide this guy, great. 
also I'm going to hide all of these because I don't need them anymore. And good. Oh yeah, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. Holy crap. Look at it go. That is the last part of the sun. Now the outer border. The width of the outer border will be equal to the width of TN. Okay, so TN. <laughs> this little guy right here. This will be of deep blue. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Given angles of the flag, external angles will be equal to the internal angles. Okay, so TN. I'm going to give this guy a little segment because I need that distance. So it's f underscore three so here's a cool cool little trick so if I have the outer border goes around all these points here so what I'm gonna do is put little circles on all the corners with that radius what was it again f underscore three so now Circle, radius, F underscore three. Okay, watch this. F underscore three. So right here, I can draw a line that's tangent to both. But first I'm going to complete it. F underscore three. F underscore three. F underscore three. So now, watch this. Where is it? Construction tangents. So select point or line, then circle, conic or function. But I'm going to pick this circle and this circle. Whoa! It drew them all. I did not want that to happen. I did not think that would happen. Um, Screw it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Bam. 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 So in all this mess, the outer border exists. So let's draw some points and get rid of all these construction lines. So here's a point. It's that one. Stop it. Undo. There we go. Move down here. GeoGebra is crying because there's way too many construction points. This one and this one. This one and... This one, no, oh, stop that. I don't want that point. Escape down here, point there. Point here. And that's the border. So now we can get rid of all of these really obnoxious construction lines. Whoops. Let's 
settings oh. settings this one this one and this one because we don't need any of them okay this one this one this one this one that one too turns out we don't need the circles okay these four don't need these move this guy down here And that circle, also don't need that. This circle and this circle can go away. And this little construction line can also go away. All right, so final step. Segment, segment. Segment. Oh no! I forgot one. Ah! But I know where it is. They're all parallel. So I'm gonna draw a parallel line through B to that and through A2 to that. Bam! But I don't need this line anymore. Look at that! The flag of Nepal, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is a mathematically correct, with the exception of this free handed star points, mathematically correct Nepalese flag. Let's see how we can clean it up a little bit. Let's draw. A polygon there's the blue and let's give it a oh, this is gonna mess things up so there's the blue I don't know if I can make a white region here. I don't know how. Um, I could probably fudge it. All right, and then this one. So this gets a what are you doing? I don't need that point. Get out of here. So the outer section is blue. Stop it! Come on. There we go. So the style, opacity, and the fill is... Can I fill it? Dark blue. Fill. Huh. No, I don't want that. Um. Oh, here it is. Duh. So there's the blue. Let's do some crimson. Polygon. Let's see. A, B, B. That one is color opacity, but this one is red. And then 
I can make another polygon. Oh boy. <laughs> can I do it? Fuck it. Pardon my language. This is an adult show. Almost done. We're going to make this one white. Looks like it's actually gripping to those points. There's that polygon. This one is poly 3. It has a fill of white and 100% opacity. And then the harder one. Polygon. Wait. So I'm going to start with white. To see some real fudging and watch this. It's not making a circular curve. But when I zoom out, you won't you probably won't be able to tell the difference. select everything from here all the way down to here with the exception of Holly Two, poly one, poly three, you know what, let's just select all, holy cow. There's so many points. Wait for it. Wait for it. hidden. I 
I said everything is hidden. Or not. Let's try it again. There are way too many points. Okay, so now those are all hidden. All I want to see are the polygons. Poly 1, Poly 2, Poly 4, and Poly 3. Done. The Nepalese flag. Woo! And only in just under an hour. <laughs> I hope this was enjoyable, and I hope you have fun using GeoGebra.